man was head coach Aaron Brand. Uh, coach, how did y'all see the game so far? Uh, it's been well. It's been, it's, we've, we've, we've had a bunch of guys do a bunch of good things. Uh, yeah, we have some college kids this year, obviously. We have some uh, guys get bigger and stronger as, as every offseason we expect them to do. Uh, and, uh, we're, we're anxious to get it in with somebody else at this point. So, yeah, you know, kind of how, how it really went. You, you know, you really can't tell until you match it back up against somebody. And, Last year, you guys were in two games with the state champs. I mean, you lost the one-point game to Mallory Creek in overtime, then you lost the one-pointer in Catholic in the uh, first round of the playoffs. So you, you guys could obviously play with anyone, but how, how do you bounce back and you know, get over the hump with uh, those guys? Well, if you, if you don't play in the state championship game, obviously the last game you played was probably a loss. So we got, we still got that taste in our mouth, uh, and it's bitter. You know, two, two back-to-back years, we we thought last year we had a pretty good football team coming into it, and we just didn't. It just didn't. We just didn't catch the break like we thought we would. And, and at this point, at this point in my career, at this point in these guys' career, you, know, you got to get to a point where you make your own break. We just didn't, we just didn't make our own breaks. And I came back and came back and home and the butt at the end. But uh, uh, that's neither here nor there. We're back. We're back again. We're gonna give it another go again. We're gonna ride this ride again. And, uh, and see where it leads. So, uh, now, I, I've followed you all, all your career coaching you. Yeah, sure. I got a ton of respect for you. Yes, um, you can learn from Tommy Knox, yes, uh, probably the greatest coach in this area. Uh, what's the biggest thing that you took from him that you apply now at your uh, I, I, I get asked that question a bunch. Uh, and it's just, you know, the main thing is just holding these kids accountable and responsible. Uh, just like if you and I, you know, don't go to work one day or, you know, we don't get paid. So you kind of, just the fact that you get out of it of what you put into it. Oh, yeah. And uh, so, and that that's where the accountability uh, standpoint comes into play. And then you talk about responsibility. These guys, such, you know, most of our leaders have got to kind of take charge. You know, they got to be responsible for a bunch of the young guys out here. And, and you know, you got to hire good coaches around you that are preaching the same things that you're preaching. And, you know, some some sometimes when you when you have to turn your back and you have to do some other things, you gotta make sure those guys are saying the same thing that you would be saying that or that they would be saying if you were right there in front of them. So just uh, just holding the kids accountable, um, being responsible, and and just trying to uh, just trying to give them a better life, man. Uh, we wanna not only do we wanna raise good football players, man. I'm in I'm in a situation where I gotta raise good men. Oh yeah, you know, I gotta help mom and daddy raise good men. And, you know, my situation is a little different than, than a lot of people in the area. So, uh, yeah. you know, I take full responsibility for that. And, uh, and you know, I talk about I talk about a little bit more than football with my guys. I have to talk about life and in, in, in life situations. And, uh, and, uh, and I and I accept that responsibility. I'm, I'm glad that it's thrown thrust upon me. And uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. That's great. That's great, man. Uh, talk about some of the players that you got with me. I tell you what, I, and like we were talking about before we got on air, um, I think we got good players. I, I just don't know if we, we have quite what it takes yet to, to get it all the way done. We got we got good players, though, starting with, um, obviously with our quarterback, King Zip Betty. He's my first returning starter since 2007. So, wow. Every, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you think about that, everything that we've been able to accomplish been with a one-year quarterback. You know, we That's almost great. had two, but Scape got hurt yeah. over at Mallet Creek early yeah. in the season, so I almost had two right then. But uh, Kingsley's, Kingsley's the uh, first, second-year quarterback I've had since 2007. He, he obviously, and I, you know, I consider Jeremiah Hall one of the top two or three players in the city. Uh, I, I think, I think he is as uh, diligent and efficient as there is. Uh, he, uh, he, he brings the academic side to it. He brings the, the football side, the football IQ especially, and uh, you know, there's no more, there's no more miles going, so we, we expect those, especially those two guys that we named to kind of put it on their shoulders and put it on their back a little bit and accept it. Right. You know, that's just on the offensive side, on the defensive side, you go with a guy like Demir Faison, who's a rising junior, he's got a couple of Division One offers at this point. Uh, you go with Dan Reynolds, uh, who's another linebacker for us, who's got a uh, you know, who's got some some obvious uh, some obvious college interest in the secondary. We, we, we think we're talented along in the secondary too. So 
Um, it's just going to be a matter, matter of whether we can put it together or not. Man. And, uh, and we, we think we've had a good start. And, and like I told you before, we, we're a team that needs rhythm. Yeah. You know, and when you have, when you start one week and you think you got something going and then you're off the next week, but when we come back, we got to kind of retrain it all over again or reteach it all over again. So we don't love that fact, but everybody, everybody's in the same boat, everybody's playing by the same rules, so we'll take it. We'll take it and see who the best man is at the end. Last question, Coach. I yes, think sir. I know your answer already. Yes, sir. What's your goal for this upcoming? Uh, well, obviously, every year, year in and year out, I want to try to put a team out on the field that can compete for a state championship. Now, we, 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 think, we think we've got some players to be able to do it. Uh, it's just a matter of finishing around here, you know. And, and finishing doesn't happen in one year, and you would think it would be able to happen in the second year. But, uh, you know, if you ask me, I fully expect every time, I fully expect to win every football game. I fully expect to be playing at one of those big-time college venues at the end of the year in December. And, um, and my goals are going to always be that. And I'm going to always, and it's not being, you know, overzealous. It's not being cocky or anything. It's just my expectations. I have high expectations for any group that I coach in. Uh, and I, the day I change that will be the day I have to sit it down. Right. Um, That's awesome, man. Well, we appreciate the time. Yes, sir. Um, Good luck this year. We'll be watching. We'll have you back over there getting after with my boy Dale Walker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir.